Hi, today we're going to see how to use the displace filter in GIMP to blend the text on this towel texture. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So the first thing we're going to do is rotate this image here. So go to image, transform, and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So here it is. And now I'm going to change the foreground color. So here I'm going to select a blue color. So I'm going to select this blue color. The HTML notation is 265 CBC. Press OK. Select the text tool. And now left click to create a new text box. And now I'm going to type my text. So here it is. And now Control A to select all text. And now I'm going to change the font here to lobster. And then the font size to 450 press enter so here it is select the alignment tool left click on the text layer make sure the align is related to the image and then let's align it horizontally and then vertically so here it is and now right click on the text layer to image size now if you want to remove these squares here just select another tool so here it is and now we're going to use the displace filter. Make sure you're on the text layer. So that's the layer we're going to use. We're going to apply the effect on. So go to filters, map, and then here displace. So here, as you can see, there are many settings. So these two boxes here are going to be the image you're going to use or the layer you're going to use to displace this text. So we're going to use this layer here so for this one it controls the horizontal displacement and for this one it controls the vertical displacement so for example if i left click here then i'm going to select the towel hair layer so if i try to make sure the to check the preview if i try to so control reset click on reset and now i'm going to uncheck the chain icon here so i can move each slider independently so here it doesn't do anything so for example if i move the horizontal slider so here it is and now let's click on reset now for example i'm going to left click and then select the towel here so for example now i have selected this one since this one controls the vertical displacement left click here i'm going to increase slider here of the vertical displacement so here it is and now let's click on reset and also for example hide even if you have an image hide it so that can only affect for example here will only affect the vertical so i'm going to check it to affect both and then click on the chain icon here to move the same sli the sliders at the same time so here displacement mode is cartesian polar so for the polar it will whirl and pinch but for now, I'm just going to focus on the Cartesian mode. So click on Reset. So here for the cubic, for the sampler, this is the interpolation method. For the abyss policy, this will set the displacement behavior. I'm not going to touch these two here. Center displacement will center displacement. So these are the kind of the important settings here so now i'm going to start my displacement so here i have checked for example the horizontal and vertical i selected the towel so we're going to displace the text according to the pixels of the towel layer here so i'm going to increase the displacement here so i think i'm going to leave it to here 100 it's okay now press okay and now I'm going to change the layer mode of this text to linear burn. So go to mode, then click on linear burn. So here it is. And now I'm going to blur this text here so that I don't have rough edges. So go to filters, blur, and then Gaussian blur. So here, as you can see, it blends much better with the texture. So let's say here I'm going to left click, press minus can keyboard to zoom out so i think i'm going to 
double click and then type two so I think I'm going to leave it here press ok so now you can still for example change the color of this text so go to colors here on saturation so here I'm going to change the color here so for example I'm going to keep the blue I just want a lighter blue color so here like this so here I think it's okay here so here I now press ok now I'm going to add the bevel to this text here layer so go to filters decor add bevel so I'm going to uncheck work on copy and then I'm going to increase the thickness to 10 and then press ok so here it is and now I'm going to merge down these two layers so click on this icon and now I'm just going to increase the contrast so go to colors and then curves here I'm just going to make this slider so here it's too much so here I think I'm going to leave it here press ok so here it is that's how you can use the displace filter in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time